the scout with level up tuts and right now we're going to continue the video from uh, the previous video where we are getting used to in an introduction to functions.php. In this video, we're gonna be writing our first function, we're gonna be writing our first hook, and we're going to be enqueuing a script. So let's get started. What we wanna do first for this video is we want to what's called enqueue a script. And enqueuing a script is basically adding some JavaScript to be loaded dynamically into our site. So let's go ahead and the first thing we need to do is write a function. And now keep in mind that this function is not called until we call it. A function is really like an action that's just sort of waiting to be done. And then when we call the function, it's going to run and do everything we want it to do. So the function, uh, to do that, we want to type function just like that. And you'll notice that because I'm uh, Sublime thinks this is a PHP file, uh, I have nice syntax highlighting. Um, okay, and now we wanna give this a name. Now for this function's name, you give it your theme name. So we can say uh, 2014 underscore uh, child underscore scripts. Now, this function name isn't really that important, and I say that as in if you make this function name something totally different than this, it's still, uh, it still can work. So nothing specifically is looking for this, 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 but what this does is it's a convention that you should uh, definitely, absolutely follow so that anybody coming into your site understands what's going on. So, and also um, this 2014 underscore child basically is making sure that this function is not going to exist anywhere else in your program so you're not accidentally perhaps breaking anything. So definitely follow that child name or your theme name and then underscore scripts for this particular function because what we're doing is adding scripts. Now we need some curly brackets and inside of here, we're going to be using a function that's predefined for us called wp underscore n, well, e-n-q-u-e-u-e. -U -U -E. So in q and then underscore script. So this is a function that already exists. You can read about it in the WordPress codex simply by Googling wp underscore uh, in q underscore script. And we need to pass it an argument. So inside of some parentheses, we need to give it the name of the script. And this can just be um, uh, extra JS, right? So this is nothing in particular. Maybe if you're using a plugin, this could be the plugins name. Uh, it's, it's not super important here. And then we can say comma. And now you want to have the location of the script. So to get our themes location, we're going to use another function called git underscore template underscore directory. So, uh, and then we need, sorry, underscore URL and then parentheses. So git template directory URL is going to do exactly what it says. It's going to get the templates directory and the path to it. So that would be the or WordPress content themes uh, 2014 child. Um, and then we're going to have a dot, a period, because what the period does is it adds this to. And it's going to add this to a path that we're going to say exists within our theme. Now this doesn't exist yet, so let's create it. Under 2014 child, I'm gonna right click and say new folder, type JS as the folder name. And now we have a folder for our JavaScript. Now I'm gonna have a new file in here, and this is just going to be called extra.js. And extra.js is just simply going to alert, uh, yo, just like that. All it's going to do is when this loads, it's just going to send an alert. Okay, 
So now we need to give it that path. Remember, this is the templates directory. Now we can say slash js slash extra dot js. And we can save this, okay? Uh, notice how this is in quotes here. It could be single or double quotes. Uh, the single or double quotes just mean that it's a string. This concatenates or adds to uh, this path in front of it. And so this is going to be one long URL that points directly to the file we just created. Now we just need to end this line with a semicolon and we can save this. Okay, so we have our function. Our function, when it runs, it's going to load up this script. And like I said before, if we come to our website, we refresh, and let's check out the source. If I search for ex uh, extra.js, it's not going to be here. And that's because of a few problems. One of which is we haven't actually called this function, so therefore it's not even running, therefore it's not going to even enqueue our script. We also are using the, a wrong function somewhere. And so in the next video, we are going to add a hook so that we can run this function, and then we're going to be using the codex, the WordPress codex, to find out what function we should be using and how to correctly spell that function and, and what exactly it does. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Um, you can reach us at Facebook or Twitter or on the Level Up forum pretty much anywhere. So check it out. In the next video, we're going to continue this up and finish this out. And by the end of it, we're going to have a working function. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.